Good morning and welcome to the live stream service from St John's Church here in central Cardiff. It's Sunday the 10th of May and hello to you if you are listening to this service on our new phone line facility where you can dial up and hear the service if you don't have access to the internet. More on that later. My name's Sarah and I'm the vicar here at St John's. Today is the fifth Sunday of Easter and the service will last for around 15 minutes. We hope you'll enjoy being part of the St John's community. I always start by saying you might like to post your first name and your location in the comments on Facebook or YouTube and if you do that we'll gradually become aware of each other's presence. And it's beautiful to see so many people doing that as the credits roll and we get ready to worship together. So keep doing this, it's lovely. If you can, uh, please uh, stay right to the end of the service. There's a neat little video featuring three members of St John's, along with some associated happy news of two of them and it would be great if we can share that with you. It's good to have you here with us uh, wherever you are, if you're a regular church goer or if you're exploring Christianity and or if you just happen to find us, you're very welcome. We hope you'll find something of God's love for you here today. So who have we online today and it's just terrific to see everyone. Hello, Sylvia, and uh, hello, Glenis. Hi, Ruth. Good morning, Tayo, uh, Vanessa, and Keith. Hello to Will and Rhiannon. So lovely to have you here with us today. Richard, good morning. Ben, hello. Good to have you back here with us this morning. Um, Claire and Chris and Lorna. Uh, Welcome and good morning to you, Emma and family, uh, Julie in Gloucester, good to see you here today, Andrew, John in France, uh, Kerry Ann and uh, Janie, lovely to have you here with us, uh, Kate in Herefordshire, welcome, uh, Georgia, welcome to you, our good friends in St Ildid's Church, good morning to you, Georgie, Freya uh, and her family, Mark, uh, um, a welcome to you. Adele and Ian in Leckwith, uh, good morning. And um, Bippin, great to have you with us today. Louise joining us from wonderful Yorkshire, uh, good to have you here. So we are a community. We come together with the people that we've mentioned with the people who are watching and haven't yet put their name in. That's fine. We come together today to hear of God's love for each and every one of us and to pray together. We are in the presence of God and we are in the presence of each other. And so we are a community. Let us pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And let us for a moment think of the times when we have fallen short of our calling as Jesus' disciples. Holy God, we are sorry and repent of the times where we have fallen short of our calling and we ask that you will help us to walk with you each day. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his spirit and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. And here's the collect read for us this morning by Andrew. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened to us 
the gate of everlasting life. Grant that, as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires, so by your continual help we may bring them to good effect. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And this morning's Gospel reading comes from chapter 10 of St. John's Gospel, and it's read for us this morning by Kyra. Jesus said to the disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and to prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and that the Father is in me? The words that I say to you I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, but if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and, in fact, will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask for anything, I will do it. And here's this morning's address, given to us by Reverend Lorna. It's the Last Supper. The disciples are talking with Jesus about what will happen next. And Thomas is experiencing a crisis. Show us the way, he says. I want to root out of this mess. He cannot bear to live in the present moment. He wants the past he knew or the future he dreamed of. He wants certainty and control back. Desperation tips him into an emotional and mental lockdown. Jesus is standing right in front of him and he's missing the point. Here's a flavour of Jesus' reply. I am going to prepare a place where we can be together in a new way so you can experience more of God's life living in and through you. You'll feel at home in this place. It's the kingdom I've been telling you about. I've shown you the way to live. And you know the truth that everyone comes to the Father through love. Because God is love. Okay, you don't know what's ahead of you. But you do know me. And I'm your companion on this journey. All you need to do is trust me. Like Thomas, we're at a threshold moment, standing at a door, not sure when we can open it or what we will be stepping out into. Perhaps we want clarity, to retreat into a perfect past or to project ahead into an ideal future. But let's not miss God's nearness today. If you believe that Jesus is alive in our world, living in people, beauty, laughter, bread and wine, that his kingdom appears anywhere there is hope, freedom and justice, and you are experiencing some kind of internal lockdown, then could you choose today to loosen it a little? Could you choose to listen to Jesus' words and trust him? No nostalgia, no dreaming, no control. 
just saying, here I am, God, with all my thoughts and feelings. May the real me and the real you be present to one another in the reality of this moment. And so we are coming close now to our time of intercession. And if you'd like us to pray for someone or some issue that's on your heart this morning, do please send us a comment on Facebook or YouTube and we will pray for your intention this morning. While you do that, here's a short video explaining our new phone service facility. Hello, do you know someone who'd like to hear the Sunday service, but who doesn't have access to the internet? If you do, please let them know that St. John's have put our Sunday service at the end of a phone line. So for the price of a local call, from 11 o'clock each Sunday, you can hear the 10 o'clock service simply by dialing 02920 101 565. That's 02920 101 565. And so let us bring the concerns of our hearts before God, our Maker and Redeemer. Holy God, we pray for everyone involved in education, for teachers and lecturers, for researchers and administrators, and for chaplains. Let's hold before God all of the students who are learning at home rather than at school. And we give you thanks for all the students at St. John's and we ask for your blessing upon them. Jane has asked us to pray for Joss's Auntie Cynthia who died on Thursday. So we remember her and we pray for all those who will mourn for her. Ruth has asked us to pray for Richard and so we hold him before God. So we pray for Louise's intention of her friend who's now 54 days clean of self-harm and battling on in this time of uncertainty. We commend that person to God. Carrie Ann has asked us to pray for those who are lonely that they may find some comfort and we pray that they may know of God's love. Indeed, we pray for everyone who is homeless or vulnerably housed or who lives in a situation of domestic abuse at this time. We hold before God Molly in Oxford, who was due to be confirmed this morning, and we pray for God's blessing on her in her continued journey of discipleship. And John in France asks us to pray for Doris, awaiting an eye operation. And we continue to pray for Roger and for Bill. We hold in our hearts as well Odette and Joan East, who recently died. And we pray for their families and for all those who will miss them. We join together in saying the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. If you've enjoyed being with us this morning, please do tell a friend and invite them to the service. And if you want to be visible in the live stream, please do send in a photo to me so that I can add it to our gallery of people in St. John's community, which we show during services. On Monday, our organist Philip will be telling us about his favourite hymn or worship song. So do click on our Facebook page from seven o'clock on Monday to see what he's chosen. Here's God's blessing for us all. God the Father, by whose glory Christ was raised from the dead, strengthen you to walk with him in his risen life. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. As Christians, we believe that we are all connected and that each one of us matters. When someone suffers, we are all poorer for that. This week is Christian Aid Week and Christian Aid Cymru promotes social justice and the alleviation of poverty in Wales and in 39 countries worldwide. Now we usually have a collection around St John's to help fund their work and this can't happen this year. However, on Wednesday we will put a link to their donations page on our Facebook and Twitter feeds. As we're all connected, when some people rejoice, we also rejoice with them. And to end with this week, Vanessa and Keith have celebrated 10 years of marriage. So we rejoice with them and for them. It's also been VE Day and Richard, our treasurer, sent me a photo of him as a baby waving a Union Jack whilst being held in the arms of his mother. Richard, Vanessa and Keith all do sterling work and St John's is richer because of them. So we send them our congratulations and our appreciation. And we end the service this morning with photos of Richard and to start with, Vanessa and Keith. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Ju bendithiog hi.